Hey there, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters and I have a new What Sold on eBay video. It's been at least a week, um, maybe even close to two weeks since I did one. So I'm just going to show you the highlights of the last couple weeks of the things we've sold. Um, this first item is a really pretty sterling silver ring. Uh, we did find this in a storage unit with some other silver items. And it was quite large, as you can see. Very pretty. Kind of a black stone. It was Mark Sterling, and we sold that for $20 plus shipping. Okay, this is a Bible that we sold. This is a King James Version Bible from 1949. It was in perfect condition. Didn't look like it had been used at all, probably just stored. Um, it had the presentation pages were all blank, and it had really pretty artwork. It was printed in England. So you can see there. And it had really pretty uh, maps and things in the back, as you can see there. Really nice colors. And it did have the gold gilt on the side. And I took an offer of $40 plus shipping on this Bible. Oh, and I paid $5 for this Bible at a thrift store. And then another Bible that sold is this World Publishing Company. I couldn't find a date in this Bible anywhere, but it was like new. Um, very pretty as well with the red edging instead of the gold and um, no markings in it but you could tell it's vintage by the artwork isn't that cool so probably I don't know 70s or 80s maybe would be my guess and I paid three dollars for this Bible at the thrift store and it also had some pictures, which was really nice. And we, and that sold for $30 plus shipping. All right, this item my husband got off of the Snap-on Tool truck. And I don't know if this is typical, but the Snap-on guy that visits his work has a drawer full of like um, repossessed, repossession type things that he had to take back because people were making their payments or whatever. And so he got this set of wrenches for ten dollars and they were just like little tiny wrenches and you can see how small they are they're just little tiny wrenches and they were in very nice condition they didn't have any scratches on them or anything the bag was just a little bit dirty but not too bad no rips or anything you can see how small it folded up there so those sold for hundred and twenty five dollars plus shipping and then another thing with this sale is that I had advertised this on Facebook. There's a Facebook group that I just recently joined called International League of Thrifters. And I'll link to them in the description below. They're great. Um, they do a lot of different activities throughout the week to help promote other people's listings on Pinterest and um, different things like that. Well, one of the things they do is watch my item Wednesday. And so I tried it out and I posted this item here on there and I had about 10 people watching it um, and then you know I watched a bunch of other people's things that were listed there as in return and so um, I'm not sure if that's why this item sold or not but I've had it listed since the beginning of August and I think I had a couple watchers on it but um, it did sell after that so I don't know if that's a a sign that that works or not. I'm going to try it again next week and I'll let you know if the next thing that I put on there sells after advertising it there as well. And again, I will link to the International League of Thrifters Facebook page in my description below if you want to check that out and get involved with their group. And this is a Dodge Ram emblem. It was just a little plastic emblem. These are OEM from the dealer um, or off of the original truck. And that sold for $20 plus shipping. And then we sold this hat. Um, this is a Dorfman Pacific hat. There's the label. It was kind of a Trilby style, I don't know, maybe a fedora hat. Really cool. And that sold for $25 plus shipping. Unfortunately, I did have um, media mail listed as one of my options. And so they chose that media mail. But luckily it did 
go first class, so it only cost me a few, I think like 60 cents more than, than that, so it wasn't too bad. All right, this is a belt. This was actually kind of an unfortunate sale for me because I had made a mistake in the listing. Um, I had listed it as a one and five eighth inch wide belt, but it was actually one and three fourths inch wide, which I guess is a really big deal to people that collect belts. And I didn't realize that when I shipped it and I made a mistake. So anyways, the gentleman emailed me and told me about the mistake and I said I was sorry, I offered him to return it at my expense. He did not want to return it, he wanted to keep it. So I offered him a partial refund of $10. He said yes, he would accept the partial refund, but he thought $15 would be more appropriate. And then he threatened me with negative feedback if I didn't do the $15. So of course I refunded him the $15 and he left me negative feedback anyways. So that was kind of a disappointment and an unfortunate sale. He called me a liar and all kinds of different names and a thief. And it was just kind of one of those sales I wish just never would have even happened. But oh well. All right, so this was a kitchen fair pot. Just a small little pot. Um, we had purchased several kitchen fair pots um, at a thrift store and I believe we paid about four or five dollars for this one. This was the last one of the ones we found, this baby blue color. And we had lowered the price down to $25 just to get rid of it and it sold for $25 plus shipping. All right, into eyeglasses. This is a pair of Link o Ochiali, Ochali. I'm not even sure how to say that at all, but I think it's the same brand that makes Fendi or they're related somehow. But anyways, this was a brand new pair of glasses. They still had the demo lenses in them. I think I listed them a little low because I listed them for $30 and they sold overnight. Um, but at least they sold and I only paid, let's see, I paid $2 for them. So that's a pretty good profit. So there's the name there, Link Ochiali, Ochali. And this is a pair of baby prescription eyeglasses. These we paid $1.75 for in a lot that I bought on eBay. All right, and this is a pair of Nikon. I bought these at a thrift store for a dollar. Um, they were in really nice condition. Men's double bridge, half rim. There's the name, Nikon, Nikon Flex. And those sold for $30. And then this is a pair of Brooks Brothers. These sold for $31.45 on sale. These came out of an eBay lot that I figured I paid about 75 cents per frame. And so that was a good sale. You can see the name kind of there, Brooks Brothers. And then this is a pair of L prescription frames. They did not have any lenses in them. They're just empty. And those I paid $2.50 for at a thrift store. They had a case that went with them. And they sold for $35.95 also on sale. And then this here is a pair of Ducks Unlimited. I found these at a thrift store for a dollar. They did need a little bit of cleaning, so I cleaned them up. These were also on sale and sold for $27. And then this is a pair of Chanel eyeglasses. These were really cool. They looked black when, you know, just held them regularly. But when you held them up to the light, the blue, they turned blue. So they were really kind of this iridescent dark blue, really cool. And those sold for $135 on sale. Um, I paid $10.75 for these and I got them on eBay. And then this is a pair of silver dollar rimless frames and they were in very nice condition. 
I've been really blessed with finding um, rimless frames and getting really good money for them. So I was, I'm always happy to see rimless frames at the thrift store. These I paid $2 for at the thrift store. And then one final sale to show you is this pair of Ernest Hemingway eyeglasses that I sold on Bonanza for $50. And if you're not familiar with Bonanza, cha-ching. If you're not familiar with Bonanza, I will link to them in the description below. They are really cool. They basically just mirror your listings from eBay, Etsy, and Amazon, and you don't have to do anything extra. And so I will link to that. And um, that's all I have to share with you today. So thanks for watching and take care.